What's up, family? This is Juan Johnson coming at you with a Real Talk commentary. Uh, it's been a minute since I've been online, but I've had a pose correction. I have a question to, to ask the, uh, the viewers, the readers of uh, social media, whether it be YouTube, whether it be uh, Twitter, whether it be Facebook, Instagram, it doesn't matter. I've been um, on this church piece for a minute because um, I just think that uh, the black community needs to ask the question to the black church. Uh, are they responsible? Do they take any type of uh, uh, blame? Do they, uh, will they, I'm trying to find the right word, take any type of ownership to the, the separation between the black man and the black woman? So here's my question. I actually I posted on Facebook. I'm gonna read it verbatim, and I'm uh, and I'm gonna go from there. Has the black church weaponized the black woman against the black man by preaching messages, glorifying glorifying individualism, and saying all I need is Jesus? Let me say that again. Has the black church, through the teaching, correction, and through the preaching of colonial Christianity, weaponized the black woman against the black man by preaching and teaching a gospel of individuality or individualism, thereby separating the black man and woman and saying all I need is Jesus. That question has to be answered, family. Because how many times you've talked to sisters or you've talked to brothers and they tell you to your face, I don't need no man. All I need is Jesus. So I've gone to hundreds of churches from New York Pennsylvania DC Philly Carolina up and down the East Coast and you see the same thing multiple single women no men in the church and nobody's asking the question has the gospel of individual have the gospel of individualism preached from black ministers in the church caused a wedge in the black community against the black man and woman thereby their response is i don't need you all i need is jesus Something to think about. I just I just posed a question. I don't have all the answers, but I think that question needs to be asked. I think because at the end of the day, if you was to critique the black church, the black community, which is I would say the black church is probably the most important voice in the black community. It's been there for centuries. Look at our neighborhoods right now. Look at our families. And what's the main constant? Single women, single families, a divide between the black man and black woman, and no answers. Even the church right now is looking for answers. So I'm saying this, I'm asking the question, has the black woman been weaponized against the black man with this gospel of individualism which separates the black man and the black woman, thereby the black woman can just fall back on the term, all I need is Jesus. I'll take any answers, but I think it's something we need to deal with. There's, that, that's a question that needs to be answered. It's on the table. We can no longer, no longer act like that 
broken families, fractured families, single parent families uh, ruled by the women is normal. Case in point, what plan is in place from the women who have these single families in case somebody come, on, come knock on your door and try to snatch you out the house? What you gonna do? If there's no men in the house, don't, there's no protection in the house. And we see in videos constantly, day in and day out, of our sisters being snatched, being smacked, being assaulted by not just black men, by uh, men of other ethnicities, and there's no men around, no protection. And again, I pose the question, how much responsibility does the black church take for the, for the divide in the black family? Again, I believe that the black church has weaponized the black woman with the preaching or the teaching of this gospel of individuality or individualism, which is causing a divide in our families. And the fallback from the black woman is she has believed that she don't need a man as long as she has Jesus. Look at the state, talk to your sisters and brothers in the groups and prove me wrong. No other group of people in the world, no other woman in the world talks like this about not needing a man. The Asians don't do it. The Latinos don't do it. The Europeans don't do it. Only the African and American subscribe to this thinking that you don't need, you, all, all you need is Jesus. So again, I just want to pose that question to you because I think it needs to be answered. I think everything must go under the microscope. The church has gotten the past for too long. Everybody's afraid to critique the church. When you critique the church, you're not criticizing, you're critiquing. Our neighborhoods are in shambles because people are not asking the questions. We have got to become tired of seeing the same movie script being played out in our churches in our neighborhoods and nobody asked the question. And I'm gonna ask that question again. Has the black church with the teaching of colonial Christianity weaponized the black woman against the black man? Okay. By the preaching of individualism, individualism, and all they need to do is have Jesus. That's the question. That's the question. Again, people, again, family, again, viewers, just uh, take time to think about that. Talk to your sisters. Talk to your family. We have to address this situation in our families because it's not getting no better. And maybe there's a silent cry in our churches, in our neighborhoods. And maybe some of us are paying attention and we're listening and we refuse to be silent. I can't look at a situation and don't say something. I just can't. That's just not me. Again, I thank you all for tuning in, but that's the question. Has the black church weaponized with the preaching of colonial Christianity the black woman against the black man by preaching individualism and all I need is Jesus. That's the question. Again, thank you for tuning in. Uh, and remember this, it's not how much you know, it's how much you care. Thank you.